Rani Chandra, a teenage aspiring journalist, moved into Maria's old address, 36 Bannerman Road, and joined Sarah Jane, Luke and Clyde in defeating the Pied Piper. Sarah Jane ordered Luke to look after Rani so she wouldn't find out about what they did. Luke failed and Rani joined the team permanently. TV, The Day of the Clown. Luke's lack of a birthday proved invaluable in defeating Martin Truman, who used the powers of the ancient lights to control people by their star signs. Sarah Jane suggested that they make the anniversary Luke's default birthday. TV, Secrets of the Stars, together, the team defeated several more aliens. They defeated the Berserker, TV, the Mark of the Berserker, and the Trickster when he attempted to manifest corporeally in Foxgrove in 1951. TV, The Temptation of Sarah Jane Smith. Luke Smith loved shopping and bought things from the supermarket for his neighbor Mr. Plowman. Mr. Plowman was later possessed by the alien Janxia. Luke was doing his work experience at Natural History Museum when he found the Black Diamond of Urnfield. The diamond was an artifact of Janxia's ship and influenced the finder, Luke, to protect it from other people. Luke locked himself up in a cupboard with the diamond. He refused to come out. The museum's employee Dr. Wendeline Minot called Sarah Jane who soon released that the diamond was alien. Luke brought the diamond to Janxia who fell into a garbage compactor which crushed him to death. Luke was released of the diamond's control. Because the diamond was alien, Sarah Jane Smith told Mr. Smith to make a replica of it and gave the duplicate to the museum. She also gave another alien artifact to the museum. In exchange, the staff would not tell anyone that Luke had taken the black diamond. Audio. The time capsule. When the Victorian house of the Burden family swapped places with the O'Brain's house from 2009 Luke helped to place the house into correct time again. Audio. The ghost house. Later, Luke began having dreams of Mrs. Wormwood who returned claiming herself to be Luke's real mother. Luke extended some sympathy towards her, but it later transpired that she returned to Earth alongside the Santaran Ka in an attempt to summon Horath, the immortal tyrant of the Dark Empire. With help from Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, and due to infighting between Ka and Mrs. Wormwood, they were able to stop this potential apocalypse. TV, Enemy of the Bane. Luke helped defeat Andravax and stop him from destroying Earth with nanoforms. TV, Prisoner of the Judoon, on a class trip to Snowdonia a shadowy figure imitated Luke's, Ronnie's and Sarah Jane's appearance. It looked exactly like Luke and was one of the shadow people. When Luke and the others left he waved goodbye to the shadowy figure, who had taken the appearance of his mother. Audio, The Shadow People. Luke helped to find out the mystery about the lost memories of people who lived in Wolfenden. The people's memories did not come back, but thanks to Ronnie, Sarah Jane, Luke and Clyde, the people of Wolfenden, knew that the alien Mrs. Hendrick had stolen their memories. Audio, The White Wolf. He handed his mother away at her wedding with Peter Dalton but it was a trap by the trickster. He was teleported, along with Clyde, Ronnie and the Tenth Doctor, who crashed the wedding, to Limbo in a time trap. Thanks to the TARDIS, Artron Energy and Clyde manipulating it, as well as Peter withdrawing the trickster's agreement, they were able to escape, defeating the trickster. Luke got a look inside the TARDIS when the doctor came to Bannerman Road. TV, The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. Luke defeated Mona Lisa. TV, Mona Lisa's Revenge. During one mission with Sarah Jane and the gang in tracking down a Slatheen, he encountered a different family from the same planet, the Blatherine. The group befriended them and accepted a gift, some rackweed. However, Luke fell ill for the first time when he inhaled some of the released spores, and his life hung in the balance while Sarah Jane tried to find a cure. He pulled through at the last moment when Mr. Smith destroyed the rackweed and its spores. TV, The Gift. During the second attempt of members of the Slatheen Blatherine family to cover the earth with rackweed Luke was infected by the spores again. The rackweed was later destroyed by Clyde and Luke felt good again. Game, Sound. Luke and Sarah Jane were informed by Mr. Smith that a spaceship crashed on earth. They went to the crash site of the ship, saved the pilot of the ship and brought him to Sarah Jane's attic. Soon after this, the Cruelius appeared and teleported himself, Sarah Jane and the pilot to his space station. Sarah Jane defeated the Cruelius and returned to Luke. Comic. Monster Hunt. After this, Ronnie was teleported to the Cruelius spaceship. She escaped returned to the attic and told Luke, Sarah Jane and Clyde about her experiences. 
Comic. Return of the Cruelius. When a story about Hank Carter and the Wraith Warriors was written in a journal with psionic paper, these figures began to appear in the real world. Luke helped Ronnie Chandra and Gregory P. Wilkinson to defeat Hank Carter and the Wraith Warriors. Audio. Wraith World. Luke then helped to defeat the Umorgus. Audio. Deadly Download. Following all of humanity being turned into the Master Race, Luke told Clyde that Sarah Jane had Mr. Smith create a cover story to explain why everyone had a different face, an alleged hallucination brought about by Wi-Fi encountering severe technical difficulties. As he crossed the road, he was almost run over by a car when the Tenth Doctor, who was slowly dying at the time and preparing for his regeneration, pushed him aside at the last moment. Luke recognized him and quickly ran to tell Sarah Jane. The two watched as the Doctor entered the TARDIS and waved goodbye. TV. The End of Time.